Hi, my name is Patrick Stokes. I'm a lecturer in philosophy here at Deakin University. Philosophy is a, dif a discipline that can be quite difficult to actually define, but basically it's easiest to think of what philosophy is in terms of some of the questions that we deal with. Now, philosophy has a reputation as being a very technical and difficult discipline to engage in, but in a sense, the questions that all of what we do circles around are some very basic fundamental human ones. What are we? What exists? What do we know and how do we know that we know it? What has value? How should we live? These are very basic fundamental questions that really are central to what it is to live a human life. And that's what makes philosophy, I think, a very powerful and engaging uh, activity to be involved in. Now you might think, well, that all sounds very interesting, but how does any of that actually help me in living my life on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, and this is something that we often get asked by students is, well, hang on, what's the practical value to me of studying philosophy? Well, consider this, a 20-year-old embarking on their career today is as far in time from their retirement as they are from the moon landing. They're going to be working into the 2050s. Now think back to the moon landing and all the jobs that didn't exist back then that people are doing today. Think about all the jobs that didn't exist 10 years ago that people are doing today. The workforce is constantly changing. Its requirements are constantly changing. But one thing that never goes out of style is good critical reasoning skills. And that's something that philosophy will give you in spades. The ability to tell what is a good argument and what is not a good argument. The ability to see flaws in your own reasoning and in that of others. The ability to question and identify those assumptions in your thinking that maybe seem completely obvious but that in fact need to be brought to the open and questioned. Philosophy is extraordinarily good at doing that. And one of the things I find as a researcher and a teacher that's really exciting about doing philosophy here at Deakin is that we have a very much an intra-traditional approach. So there are different traditions within philosophy. There's analytic philosophy, continental philosophy, eastern philosophy, and very often these work in um, parallel streams that don't have much to do with each other. But here we have an approach to philosophy that I think brings these three traditions together in really productive and exciting ways. And I find that really um, a very, very strong um, plus to doing philosophy at Deakin. So what sort of things do we do? Well, if you do first year philosophy at Deakin, we have two subjects, love, sex and death and philo uh, world religions. Now, Love, Sex and Death basically looks at three of the most basic defining human experiences there are and engages them with philosophical um, analysis and reasoning. So, what is love? Why does love matter? Is love rational or is love uh, something that's completely irrational? And if it's irrational and not based on reasons, should we really give it any consideration at all? Uh, what about same-sex marriage? Should same-sex couples be allowed to marry? Is that um, consistent with what we take marriage to be? What is sexual desire? What is an actual, what counts as sex? That seems like it's a pretty straightforward question, but it got Bill Clinton into trouble among other people, so it's probably something we should get clear about. What is pornography okay? Sexual objectification, is that ever morally acceptable? What is death? When do we die? Is death a bad thing? Who does it actually harm if you cease to exist at the point of death? We look at the philosophy and ethics of things like abortion and euthanasia, difficult issues, but real practical issues that have enormous significance and impact on people's lives. In world religions, you'll be exposed to five of the great faith traditions that have animated people's lives and understandings of themselves and their world and that continue to inform the lives of, five, of many billions of people all around the world. And we'll also be looking at some of the philosophical issues that are raised within those religions. If you want to go further with that, we have second and third year subjects in um, philosophy of religion, as well as things like art and philosophy, film and philosophy, um, global ethics, language and reality, logic, as well as looking at the works of key uh, philosophical thinkers like Nietzsche and Plato. So it's a very broad um, spectrum of philosophy subjects that we have here. You can touch upon um, all sorts of different aspects of the discipline and hopefully get um, a good grounding in what I think is one of the most exciting and fundamental of all the areas of human inquiry. So that's Philosophy at Deacon. I hope we'll see you here.